Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I'm going to do a continuation of what I was doing last week with my mini savings challenges and I'm gonna be showing you guys my 100 envelope challenge. I'm doing a new 100 envelope challenge. I'm very excited for this one. And I, if you guys might know, I stopped doing this challenge previously and I wanted to get back to it, but I wasn't sure when because I didn't wanna spread myself out too thin. So let me grab the box and let's get right into this video. Here it is guys. It's my 100 envelope challenge. Can you believe it? As soon as I started cash stuffing, I knew that I wanted to do a 100 envelope challenge. Like that appealed to me so much um, and being able to save all that money. But, and I started the 100 envelope challenge not too long ago, but what happened was I realized that I was spreading my money too thin because I was trying to tackle my big piggy bank, right? This big one. And I was trying to tackle all these other savings challenges that I had. And so I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to also be stuffing this 100 envelope challenge. 100 envelope challenge will save you like $5,000. And when you get towards the end, you've got all those big numbers, 100, 98, 99. Well, I don't know why I'm saying it backwards and in mixed order. But anyways, you get all those big numbers right at the end. And I'm like, that's, that's going to be hard, right? So... I saw this, this um, 100 envelope challenge on Lisa Grateful Me's uh, video. She does this and she created this. And I was like, that is such a great way to be able to tackle the 100 envelope challenge um, and just have it be a little bit more manageable. I purchased this from her Etsy store, the Happy Mailbox Co. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to do the 100 envelope challenge with my box and all these beautiful um, envelopes that I created. By the way, I really don't like making envelopes. It's so tedious, but I made all of these so I need to use them. They're not numbered, so that's perfect um, because these numbers on Lisa's challenge here are one through 24 and then one through 20, oh no, one through 25 and then one through 25, one through 25, one through 25. So the highest you'll ever put in is 25. So this is my plan. I'm gonna do my 100 envelope challenge. I'm gonna use Lisa's tracker and I'm gonna get to the $1,300, okay? And then I'm gonna roll that into a traditional 100 envelope challenge and I'm gonna backload my challenge with the $1,300. So I will unstuff it all and then I will stuff from 100 backwards using up all the $1,300 so that the the larger denominations are taken care of with all this hard work that I've done to get to the 1300. So that's my plan. Hope you guys like it. And yeah, let's do it. Let's see what we have here. So with the rest of my rollover for the week, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars Wow, I can't believe it. I'm so funny. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I say well like that. Okay, so um, $10. Now I could do a 10 or I could do like a couple envelopes and get to the $10. So maybe I'll do that. Why don't I do, oh, why don't I do this? Five and a four and a one. And then all I've got is the two and the three and that gives me three envelopes. So a five, a one, two, three, four and a one. Yeah, let's do that. So let me first color. Now let's see, what colors are we gonna do? I wanna make sure that I'm not bleeding through onto any of my others. All right, so let's do this five in purple. I'm so excited to do this one. And she, she finished this one not too long ago and her tracker was like so beautiful and colored with all these different colors. I just think this is such a pretty tracker. Okay, so $5 
and I will grab an envelope. Actually, you know what? Why don't I do all my coloring first? And then we're gonna do four. Now let me do yellow right here for this four because I think the yellow is gonna look really nice next to the purple. So I'm gonna do a four here in yellow. Beautiful. And these are the perfect markers to color this because it's just the right size. Okay, so I need more of these, I think. Oh, these are actually highlighters. No wonder it didn't stick to the lamination. That's too funny. I didn't even know that. Okay, so then let's see. And then number one, I think it has to be this beautiful blue one that I love so much. So let's do this one in this blue. So pretty. It's like turquoisey, Tiffany kind of. I don't know what the name of the colors are. I just know I really like this one too. Okay, so we did the five, the four, and the one for our $10. And let's get the box out. Let's pull ourselves some pretty envelopes. Let's see, which one should we do? Oh, look at that with the bird. That's cute. Oh, look at these flowers. And then let's do that one because that's really pretty too. So we've got three envelopes to do. And I just stuck this little... um. This is my little like corner rounder, but I stuck it in there because I, I want them to like stay, you know, and not flop down too much. So we're going to stuff these envelopes. The first one's getting a five. And I think the way that I need to do these is to try fold them so that they'll fit because this is kind of like an odd size box. Um, and so if you, if you guys have this box or anything like this, I made a tracker, 100 envelope tracker that fits it perfectly. Um, I'm definitely not going to be selling, I don't know. I mean, I probably won't be selling this on my Etsy shop. If I ever do, um, grab it because this is a lot of hard work making all these envelopes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've got a tracker that fits it. So maybe I'll do that once I do the actual, um, 100 envelope challenge and so if I try fold them, they fit nice um, right down in. And then here, let me just set that up there. Let's stuff all of these first. So we'll do a one here. Guys, I'm so excited that I'm actually starting this challenge again. I can't believe it. Um, I, I really want to do, I think it was the 100 envelope challenge that might have gotten me into cash stuffing in the first place. Uh, if I'm pretty sure my wife saw it on TikTok and then all of this cash stuffing stuff just started coming onto my YouTube feed and that was it. I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. So we got the $4 going down in to this pretty birdie envelope. So we've got all three envelopes stuffed and ready to go. Let's stick them on this side. At some point, I am going to need this corner rounder, <laughs> but we'll just stick it in there like that for now. And that is it. That is my first three envelopes of my 100 envelope challenge. Starting it again. Thank you to Lisa for making this beautiful tracker. And um, she is linked down below. So if you guys like this and you want to go check out Lisa's uh, Etsy shop, I will have that linked for you guys as well. And then let me just say thank you again to everyone who has supported me over on my Etsy shop. Um, it just means so much to me. And let me also say thank you to everyone who subscribes, who watches my videos and just comments or you know interacts with me over here. I really love it, guys. So I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.